Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. It's a preview of probably the least anticipated game of the season so far. No, it's, it's Liverpool against Bournemouth in the Premier League. Uh, I'm just about, well, I'm, I'm almost recovered uh, from the City game on Tuesday. It was two days ago. My leg, my calf, which got a bit crushed during the celebrations after Salah scored, is on the men. I can walk again, uh, but I can't run. So when I go to the gym later, I'm just going to be doing weights because, yeah, my, my, my leg is... Is still, uh, I'm still about a week away from full fitness, so luckily there's no more European aways in that time. Um, and on a catching up from sleep point of view, because we celebrated after the big uh, win over City, we celebrated, we went to a nightclub and didn't get much sleep and had to go back to work and I've obviously worked today as well. Um, yeah, I'm still a bit not with it, um, but haven't got long to recover because we've got the Champions League draw and we've got Bournemouth at home. Uh, I'm not going to Bournemouth. Um, haven't got, you know, haven't got unlimited money, so yeah, um, not, not a land deal for that one. But you know, it's still a game we need to treat with respect. We need to treat Bournemouth with, with respect, and we need to treat the Premier League with respect. Um, obviously, the draw will be before this, um, so that's all we really care about for the next sort of um, 24 hours, uh, for, as fans anyway. And then, but yeah, the, the, the focus goes up to Bournemouth, and they're kind of on the beach. You know, they're they're safe more or less, and we're. We're not safe in terms of top four. I mean, the, the the draw for West Ham at Chelsea last week pretty much killed them off, especially after we dropped points. They couldn't capitalise. And now we've got a lovely run of fixtures. I think we only need about three more wins. And we've got Bournemouth at home, Stoke at home, Brighton at home. Uh, we've got West Brom away in there as well. Um, and obviously the, the difficult one is, is Chelsea. But, you know, if we win at Chelsea, then that probably is it anyway. Um, but, yeah, we, we gotta, we've got five more games in the league and we've got to go out and try and get, you know, maybe 10 points from them. So, we, we, you know, it, it's going to be weird. It's, it's, it's a tea time game on BT Sport. Um, and I don't think we'll rest too many players. I think we've had, we'll have had a, quite a significant rest between Tuesday and Saturday. There's a good few days. There's three days in between the games. Um, it's not like it's a Wednesday, Saturday. So, I don't think Klopp will make too many changes. If, if I'm going to go for a starting lineup, I'm going to go for Karius. I would go for Klein just to get him some more minutes and make make sure that he's an option um, in the latter rounds of the Champions League if needed. Not that he necessarily would be needed because Trent again was terrific against Sané on uh, Tuesday. Love Renan Van Dijk, why not? Let's get him out there again. And Robertson, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. In midfield, get Jordan Henderson back in there and then Oxlade Chamberlain and Milner. Um, Genie was terrific against Man City, he really was in the number six position. Uh, he was outstanding. Milner has been phenomenal uh, over the last few months. Oxlade Chamberlain, likewise. So that's my midfield. I think they think you need one out of home to Bournemouth. Uh, and then yeah, what, I, I see no reason why we don't just play Salah, Man <laughs> Salah, Mane, and Firmino. Um, let's keep the momentum going. They got a week until the game after this uh, against West Brom away from home. So let's let's go all guns blazing. Let's let's do what we do. Let's. Um, Let's help Salah get the golden boot, even though Harry Kane's uh, edged one closer despite not touching the goal against Stoke. But let, let's let, let Salah uh, loose here and, um, you know, he'll probably score two or three here because that's just what he does. Um, and I hate to be complacent and I, I feel like I've been have, I'm making the exact same video every time I preview one of these games against a Newcastle or a Watford or one of these tea time games in Anfield, which seems to have been uh, plenty of them recently. We seem to just win them with ease and I think it's going to be no different. And I'm, I can't really provide any more insight than that. I think we're going to win easily. I think we're going to go strong. I don't think Bournemouth are going to be particularly up for it. I think it's probably going to be damage limitation for them because nobody's come to Anfield and won this season in the Premier League. Uh, West Brom did it in the um, in the FA Cup and a couple of teams have eked out some draws at Anfield. Uh, maybe five teams, something like that. Six. But we're great at home and, you know, especially against a side like Bournemouth who... I mean, at uh, Dean Court, they completely played into our hands. They tried to play football and they got picked off four times. It could have been way more. So that's the preview, really. We're going to win, uh, 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 you know, I'd, I'd say 4 0 maybe. That, that seems about par at Anfield. Salad to score like two, Firmino one, and then like, you know, Mane to get one. It's just that that feels like. That feels like um, a, a, a safe assumption that we will come out of here unscathed, unless we're sort of got a bit of a hangover, but I'm sure Klopp will um, ensure that focus is maintained. Um, leave a comment with your predictions and don't tell me that I'm being complacent because I know you're all thinking the same. I know none of you are worried about this uh, and I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful. I like Bournemouth as a side, I like Eddie Howe. I think they, they've done fantastically um, to stay up, well, you know, to seemingly stay up with such ease and um, yeah, I, I really 
respect them as a club. But Liverpool are well, they're, they're, they're one of the four best teams in Europe if you look at the Champions League. So we are among Europe's elite, and you know this time tomorrow we'll know just how likely it is they will reach the final of the Champions League. Just a touch on that before the draw. Um, I want Bayern Munich. That that is my dream draw. Um, they're the they're the second best team out of the three. Um, you know Madrid being the best. I don't think they are what they used to be. Um, I think they will try and play football against us, which I can't say the same for Roma. Um, and they're not as dangerous as Real Madrid. They don't have the Ronaldo's, you know, Bale, um, you know, all the, all the stars, Isco, you know. Um, just think they're a weaker team than, than Madrid. Albeit, you know, Bundesliga champions for a reason. Very strong. Lewandowski's lethal. Uh, still got Iron Robin, who still hasn't lost any of his any of his um, ability, despite you know being well into his thirties. Uh, Kingsley Coman has been terrific for them. But look, we can't fear anybody. I want Bayern Munich, A, because I think we can beat them, and B, because I love the city. Um, I like the stadium. I, love the, I think the fans are okay. I think it'd just be a great place to go and watch some football um, in sort of late late April, early May. I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it would be absolute joy. Roma, I don't quite fancy a trip to Rome. To, I, I, I don't quite fancy the Roma Ultras. and uh, There's just something quite... Something quite not intimidating, but um, you know, I, I'll be putting my wallet in my front pocket, put it that way. Um, whereas Munich, I've been before, um, I like the place, I, I like Germany uh, on the whole. I know it's a bit of a cliche to, to like really respect German football and wish English football could be a bit more like it, but that you can have it not in the Champions League, but you can have a drink. Um, the culture around the ground, the, the atmosphere is, is, is great. Um, so, yeah, take me to Munich and then take me to Kiev. Oh, May 26th. Um, I don't think it's out of the question. I really, really don't. We're all on the high at the moment. We've had these difficult games. We've come through the Palace City, Everton City stretch, having won three and drawn one of those games. What more can you ask for? Liverpool are on the rise. Jurgen Klopp is making us um, special again. Uh, I'm a believer. Uh, it's a cliche, but I really am. Um, I don't think anyone can stop us. As the chant goes, um, we've conquered all of Europe, we're never going to stop. From Paris down to Turkey, we've won the lot, I'm not going to swear. Bob Paisley and Bill Shankly, the fields of Anfield Road. We are little supporters and we come from Liverpool. LA, LA, LA.